And now it's time for coaches' comments, presented by Southside Auto Tech. Cristiano Simonetta with you, joined alongside by Stars head coach and GM Cody Chubb. Cody, your team completes the weekend sweep of the Sioux City Musketeers. You win three to one. I shouldn't say you. You and the rest of the team win three to one tonight. And the defense was on full display once again. Over the last two games against Sioux City, you allow 36 shots on goal. Talk a little bit on how strong the defense was, especially when Sioux City would try and exploit you guys wide with their speed. Guys like A.J. Hodges, he had a couple of chances in this game, but it's Jacob Bauer, it's Tony Fulmer, it's Jordan Power just closing them off and keeping them to the exterior. Yeah, I mean, it, it for us, it starts on how well we work up the ice, and that includes uh, our defensive group. And when our D are working up the ice and they're staying on top of their checks and, and we spend a lot of the game skating forward, it's much easier to match speed. And something we've worked a lot over the last couple of weeks is, is how much can we stay skating forward and can we take those unnecessary pivots out of our game. And, and when I say unnecessary pivots, it's when I'm opening my, my hips, uh, you know, my toes are changing directions. All that does is slow you down. So get up, get on top of your check, match that speed coming back into our zone and then no matter what they do with the puck you're always in between and you're forcing them into that bad ice and uh, i thought we did a pretty decent job of it uh, tonight I i'd still like to see us work further up the ice stay on top of those guys so that we don't have to pivot to backwards so that we don't allow them time time to turn and get up to speed um, but it was a better effort tonight um, probably more so last night than tonight even but um, you know, our deer are steadily improving and, and simplicity is key with the puck. How quickly can we get it, get it to our hip and move it to the forwards to, to really fuel that uh, transition game. Out of those 36 shots, Jake Musatelli stopped 34 of them. What went through you and Mike's head to go back to Moose tonight and how do you think he performed in the weekend series? He responded really well last night. Um, that first goal goes in, and I know we talked about it after the game, but the first one goes in, and he made a couple big saves when we needed him last night. Um, and we wanted to reward him, and, and I thought uh, his response throughout the week in practice, his response last night was a good one and, and warranted him uh, having another opportunity to go in there, and I thought he was, uh, excuse me, really good tonight. 11 straight kills. For your penalty kill. I know Coach Mike's is going to love that stat. Dalton Norris, Jacob Bauer, you see them coming up with big blocks. Colby Enns, Jordan Power. You could throw anybody of the D, but it's also the forwards outworking the power play group for Sioux City. Josh Lapina stood out. Brock Bremer, he gets an empty net goal. He's got two goals on the night. The penalty kill, it's been something that we've talked about all season long. Is it starting to turn that corner and get hot at the right time as we get towards the last 20 games of the season? Yeah, we hope so. I mean, it's uh, it's always tough to predict, and um, you know, I've talked a lot about special teams and how uh, if you can stay on a steady increase, um, either way, you're you're doing something right. And and over the course of uh, the last couple of weeks, we're we're starting to do more things right. And and our penalty kill is is simply a commitment to work with all four guys on the ice on the same page, understanding their responsibilities and working together. Um, to force uh, force them off what their game plan is. So whether that's working up ice and on the four check, uh, our forwards working together to, to apply that pressure early, um, or it's uh, building that wall and, and getting our, our heels above the, the blue line coming into our own zone so that we're forcing them into chip dump scenarios where we can start to bring numbers to that puck. And one area that we did a really good job of this week, I thought especially, was our community clear. So that puck gets in, we get it surrounded, it's a little bump or a double bump, and then we get it on our forehand where we're making good strong plays down the ice. Um, I think there was only one occasion tonight where we tried to wrap it from the opposite corner. Those, those pucks just don't get out at our level or any level beyond ours. Um, so it, it requires everybody uh, up the ice, it requires everybody in the neutral zone, and it requires everybody uh, in the defensive zone. But um, our penalty kill is starting to take really good steps. Uh, huge credit to Mike's and, and the guys that are on it to, to buy in and commit to that work. 9-9-1, nine, nine and one, you guys are back up to 500 on home ice. This is your first back-to-back -back nights, a weekend sweep. How good does that feel to defend your home ice territory? And I know you want to make the ice box the most difficult building to play in this weekend, a gradual step towards making that a reality. Yeah, it's nice, and, and there's no question we we want to be really good all the time, but we want to be really, really good at home, and we want to be really tough to play against. I thought tonight was a step back for us in our five-on-five -five game from last night. Um, you know, and it's, 
you don't want to use the excuse that they're young kids, but there's something in your psyche that says we had success last night, so we're just going to do that again tonight, and we're going to have success. But what does that look like? And for two periods, I think, tonight, we weren't quite sure what that looked like, and we kind of thought the game was going to be something that it wasn't. So when we finally, in my eyes, committed to the work in the third period, we still didn't quite get to that dominance, uh, the, you know, tilting the ice and sustaining a lot of offensive zone time like we did last night. And that's a product of the two periods that came before. It's, it's, I've said it before, but it, it's not a switch. And you can't just flip the switch in the middle of a game and all of a sudden be really good and be locked in on your game. We have to build as we go. And last night was a really good step in the right direction coming off a great week of practice. You know, the message to the guys after the game tonight was we took a half a step backwards and then we kind of shuffled our way back up to where we ended last night. So for us, that's that's not acceptable. We need to continue to move forward. Um, we need to embrace the fact that it's going to be hard every night. We need to embrace that it's going to take everybody on the same page every night and that good things don't just happen and, and they're not a product of luck. Um, you create the bounces that you get and we have to continue to do things right in order to create those bounces. One last question for you, Cody. You guys, their next challenge will be against the Sioux Falls Stampede, two games in South Dakota, a building that you played on October 5th and got the win in, but Sioux, Sioux Falls has been a team that has heated up and really rescued themselves and rescued their season as they find themselves back in the playoff hunt, as well as every team in the Western Conference. How do you guys start to prepare for Sioux Falls come Monday? Yeah, they're a team that's playing really well right now, so you have to battle not only the, the quality of that group, um, but the confidence that they're they're going to be bringing into this weekend. They're playing in their own building, which is a tough place to play, somewhere that they have success. Um, and, and they're a confident group, so we have to find a way to be ready to go to kind of punch them in the mouth right off the bat so that we can start to establish our game. Um, you know, we've had success in that building. Uh, I think our, our group is, is built um, for a little bit larger ice surface like that. Um, so, you know, I'm looking forward to the challenge. They have a great goaltender right now who has really started to fuel this, uh, this push that they're making in the second half. So it's going to be important that we're taking his eyes away, creating second chance opportunities, all those things that we talk about all the time. But uh, we're going to have to be locked in and we're going to have to be ready uh, for our opponent because um, they're, they're starting this push and they're going to be ready for us, no question. Thanks so much for doing this, Cody. That was Coach's Comments presented by Southside Auto Tech. Stars win 3-1. to one. Zach Erdahl gets the scoring started. Brock Bremer with two goals. Jake Musatelli makes 19 saves. We'll be back when the Stars face off against the Sioux Falls Stampede on Friday night at the Denny Sanford Premier Center in South Dakota. We'll see you then.